Tonight, the Sumter community is mourning the deaths of two adults and three children killed last night in what officials are calling a domestic related shooting. Officials say a father shot and killed his own two sons, his stepdaughter and an active duty member of the U.S. Army at his ex wife's home and then took his own life. The shootings happened around 10 o'clock last night at a home on Whitetail Circle. That's in the Woodridge subdivision on the west side of town. Today, officials providing updates in the case saying, although the case can be hard for many people to digest, it's something that could have happened in any community. Uh, anybody that has children, anybody that has empathy uh, related to a children, child dying so violently could understand uh, how that mother is feeling. We could never understand it. Uh, directly, but we do understand it's a, tra it's a traumatic time for the family. Well, Nick Neville is joining us in Sumter with details on the news conference from officers today from uh, Chief Wark. Nick? Yes, Dondi, just a tragic situation in Sumter. So we know that the shooter, Charles Slacks, entered the home of his ex-wife, Aletha Holiday, using a key. That's when he saw his ex-wife speaking with a 38-year-old co-worker in the backyard and shot him. He then went on to murder his children before committing suicide. When you have a situation where little children were sleeping in the comfort of their own bed, and no father of their own have their life taken, particularly by a father and a stepfather. That's difficult for us to rationalize. An unthinkable tragedy in Sumter Tuesday night, where Charles Slack shot and killed his children, stepdaughter, and his wife's co-worker before taking his own life. County records show that Slacks was a co-owner of the home. Divorce records show that he and Aletha Holiday's divorce was finalized on March 2nd. Slack shot a 38-year-old male in the backyard first, then went inside. Holiday tried to stop him, but he pointed a gun at her. Holiday didn't have her phone on her. She goes back outside to the residence where the first individual had been shot in search of his cell phone, wasn't able to locate that. Then she hears several gunshots. Holiday ran back inside to find Slacks at the top of the stairs. He then shot himself. When Holiday checked her children's bedrooms, she found that all of them were shot and killed. They were Aiden Holiday Slacks, Aaron Holiday Slacks, and Ava Holiday. Their ages, 5, 6, and 11. Hug your little ones, hold them tight. You never know. I just can't imagine having to, having to go through something like this. I just, my heart goes out to this family. Sumter Police Chief Russell Rourke says this could unfortunately happen in any family setting. But with it being such a tight-knit military community, this tragedy touches all of the department's officers. As people, as a community in our nation, we're not conditioned to bury a child that's, that's foreign to us, and it's very shocking and very emotional for the, uh, certainly for the family, the community at large, and our officers and other first responders. We spent the day in that subdivision speaking with neighbors today. Understandably, none of them wanted to speak on camera about the situation, but I did have the opportunity to speak with one father who says that his, his children played with the holiday children and he was taking them for counseling. He spoke about the difficult conversations ahead. Reporting in Sumter, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. All right, Nick, thanks so much. And those three children were all Sumter County students. The district confirmed two attended Millwood Elementary, while their older sibling attended Alice Drive Middle School. Chris Joseph is live at Millwood Elementary with details on the district's response. Chris? Well, Dondi, Dr. William Wright, the superintendent of the district, released a statement today saying, of course, the district is heartbroken and grieving. Counselors and crisis response team members were made available to these students and staff today. Now, I swung by Alice Drive uh, Middle School earlier this afternoon and saw a number of parents actually taking their kids out of the school around lunchtime. Now, the district did not release early, and it's unclear right now if those parents were taking their students out as a result of the shooting. Otherwise, really nothing different outside of the schools this afternoon. I spoke with one grandmother of a Millwood Elementary School student. She says she and the child's parents are going to have to feel out tonight how they're going to discuss the issue with their young student. 
I, uh, she asked that I withhold her identity. Heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking. It's hard to explain it to children what's going on. It's hard for me to understand. And then they said it's the father, which is going to definitely be hard for someone that they think to protect them. And all this happened. And to explain it to my grandson, it's going to be difficult. She says as for her take, she's going to wait and see how much the young student knows and then kind of feel it out from there. Reporting in Sumter County, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.